Good morning, Rio Norte. I'm Maya. And I'm Scarlett, and this is Rio School News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Attention all eligible 7th and 8th graders. If you are interested in running for a CJSF officer position, please complete an application by tomorrow, February 22nd. Officer applications are available in room B4 during brunch and lunch. For all 8th graders that are interested in VHS cheer, there is a cheer clinic at Valencia High School on March 9th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is a great opportunity to learn stunting and cheer skills from Valencia cheerleaders, plus get a pizza lunch. Go to room B14 for a flyer and registration form and more information. Registration and checks are due to VHS by March 6th. Next up, let's learn more about our teachers through crazy teacher stories. Um, I did go up to the DMZ and I did get to actually Hello, Mrs. Reiki. I hear you have an interesting story to tell us. Well, um, my students seem to think it's interesting. I had the opportunity to live overseas after I finished college. I wanted to go someplace I hadn't been before, and I ended up living in Korea for a year and a half. And I had a great time when I was there. The weather is just like it is in Ohio, which is very similar to the way it's been here locally lately. It gets cold in the winter, it's hot and humid in the summer. Um, the people were amazingly friendly, so I really had a great time. Cool. So how did you have the opportunity to sail overseas? Well, when I was finishing college, I wanted a job. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to have to live with my parents. Nice people, but I didn't want to live with them. And so I decided to go into ROTC, and when I lived overseas in Korea, I was actually serving as a counterintelligence officer for the U.S. Army. So I had put down Alaska, Panama, Germany, Belgium, and Korea, and they sent me to Korea. So I had a great time. Okay, cool. So how did it feel like sailing overseas? So living overseas was great. And actually, I'm really glad that I got sent to Korea and not somewhere in Europe because I'll probably travel there, but having lived in Korea, I had an opportunity to travel throughout the country because of the job that I had. I wore civilian clothes, I didn't wear an army uniform, so that was kind of neat. I had a chance to travel to Saroksan and Jeju-do, which are kind of like resort areas in Korea. And then from there, I went to Hong Kong for a week, I've been to Okinawa, Japan, stopped at the Philippines for a week on the way back. So I saw a part of the world that I probably would not have seen had I not been sent to Korea. So I really appreciate that opportunity. This opportunity changed you in any way? Um, obviously, I think everything we go through in life changes us in some way. I think it allows me to appreciate um, cultures from that part of the world that I didn't really have any insight to. I grew up in an area very similar to Santa Clarita and I didn't have a lot of exposure to different cultures and things, so I really appreciate that. I managed to learn like four or five phrases in Korean, so sometimes I can dazzle and surprise my students. Yeah. Um, obviously that's important. And um, it was just great, like I said before, the people were warm and welcoming, I felt safe there. It was a really nice experience. I actually would like to go back and visit again because I want to see how much has changed since yeah. I was there. I think that'd be great. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us? Um, when I lived in Korea, at the time they had martial law, which meant that after 2 o'clock in the morning until about, I think, 5 or 6, nobody was supposed to be on the streets. So that was interesting. Um, I did go up to the DMZ, and I did get to actually They have a piece of tape that goes down the middle of the building where they did the negotiation for the peace treaty. And I just kind of stepped over the line and back, so I've actually been to North Korea too. 
Um, when I was there, the presidential home was referred to as the Blue House. You weren't allowed to take pictures of it. So it was kind of interesting. I had a really good time. I got to go down in some of the tunnels that uh, the North Koreans had dug underneath the border to try and come across. And so I got to see a lot of things that kind of were behind the scenes that not everybody gets to see. So it was really a very interesting time and I really had a great time there. Okay, and thank you. Thank you. That's it for today. I'm Scarlett. And I'm Maya. And we'll see you next time on Rio TV. TV.